Running hey, wild hey, brother hey, hey, all over hey. the Thursday, you watch it Thirsty Thursday, show where it's Thursday, and we give. We drink very responsibly. <laughs> Look, someone cleaned my kitchen. Welcome to the first day of January. Yep, I have decided to make the rest of January dedicated to the spirit gin, which is my least explored spirit. A couple months ago, I tried a gin drink, and that was the first gin drink that I actually liked. And I really want to give gin a chance, let it make its way comfortably into my bar. What I like is like a lot of the old, like pre prohibition drinks drinks had gin in them and those drinks are coming back because basically hipsters like to dig up old shit and make it cool. Thank your local hipster for this. I thought today we tried the aviation drink which is a classic. It is a pre-prohibition drink. Um, they served it in speakeasies and now they serve it in downtown Los Angeles speakeasies where we just pretend it's the prohibition era. It's fun. LA. It doesn't look like there's much to it other than some liqueurs that I, I would be hard pressed to find in other drinks so basically I just bought them for this one drink. January. Let's do it. Let's make this drink. For this drink you will need gin of course. I'm using Hendrix because I bought it and now I still have it. Maraschino liqueur which I've never had before. Creme de violet which which I have no idea what tastes like. It comes from the flower violet. Basically, I think is there just to make your drink look super sexy. And some fresh squeezed lemon juice, so you're gonna wanna have a lemon. Glassware-wise, you're probably gonna wanna serve it up in a glass like this. Let's get started. First, we're gonna take a cocktail shaker and we're gonna fill it with ice. Oh, cool! There's four ice cubes in this tray of 16 ice cubes. Good, 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 good. Off to a great start. Into our shaker, we are gonna pour two ounces of gin, half an ounce of maraschino liqueur. Liqueur? Not liquor. Liqueur. Some maraschino liqueur. Half an ounce of creme de violet. Even spell it fancy. It's not just violet, okay? It's violet. Get it correct. If you have creme de violet in your bar, you better know how to make an aviation because there's like no other reason you would have that. That's why we're learning, so we can buy more bottles of things and have excuses for it. And we're gonna do 0.75 ounces of lemon juice. Fresh squeeze, please. Now basically we're just gonna shake this up until it's really chilled. Like me, with anxiety attacks. Get really shaken up until I'm really chilled. How are you? I'm shook. That's, that was what the cocktail would say. Now we're gonna pour this into our glass. Hopefully it's very beautiful. Wow, that is not the violet color I was expecting, but hey. Not gonna hate on it. And this drink is typically garnished with a marashka cherry, marashka. We don't have those kind of cherries because they're only found in the douchiest of hipster bars. We have maraschino cherries, which is not the same. Don't even get it twisted. It's not the same at all. Cheers! Oh my goodness. This is delicious. I think I will, I think I will continue to make these. What is this guy? This is an aviation cocktail. Okay. It's a pre-prohibition pre drink. What? I'm sorry, you look really you're, nice. You're I'm staring sorry. at my boobs. I know. I'm sometimes, hair. sometimes when you have gym hair and you don't want to bother with this, you just gotta overcompensate in other areas. Hey, look. Okay, okay there's only one area where she and needs it works. to compensate at all. Okay, it works. And it's doing great. It's doing really great. I don't know what that means. Drink the fucking drink. Drink the damn drink. Okay. What a terrible life I have. I'm just here <laughs> to drink the drink. Whoa. Right? What is this? An aviation. Whoa. Yeah, uh, you're not white trash enough for this okay. question, but you ever have Mountain Dew Voltage before? Because it's like no. Mountain Dew Voltage, baby. It also kind of tastes like, you know, when Gatorade came out with those like weird colors? You know, no, like that's they're... exactly what Mountain Dew Voltage is. Oh, okay. It's like a weird Mountain Dew. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Gatorade did that too. Totally. It's the same shit. Yeah. And that's weird that because Gatorade's original flavor is lemon lime and so is Mountain Dew's. That is weird. They basically. just copy each other. I think actually they're owned by the same company. I was gonna ask that. Maybe I'm wrong though, I don't know. I mean, Someone I feel out like there can yell at me if everything's you want. owned by the same company. You know what? Person. I'm just gonna say this. I'll say this for both of us. Oh my gosh. They're owned by the same company. Well now now one of you can feel free to just debunk the shit out of me. It's fine, I don't care. That's why I believe Bobbles are. Alright. <laughs> if you're brave, Google it. If you're not brave, you know, just live in your fucking ignorant bubble. It's fine. It's all chill. But Bob Lazar is the man and uh, that's what's up. That's what's really going on and Tell me that element 113 is uh, just completely the construct of his own mind. Go ahead, brother. I don't care. Because Hulkamania is running wild all over WrestleMania 95, brother. And that's what's going on. Just spill it over our clean floors. No, baby, no. You, Look, it, there's it, not much it went liquid. so close to the top. It you so don't trust me. 
We're gonna watch the playback. We're gonna get married. Watch the playback. We're gonna get married in May. You don't even do a Hulkamania. It's running wild, brother, all over the USA, brother. And let me tell you right now something, a brother. Honey, it's really close. Put your fucking drink down. This is dumb. That's the Hulk thing. I don't get it. I'm doing the Hulk thing. I don't get it. Yeah, but guys get it. Okay. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what it is. Yeah. She doesn't know what it is. That's She's so cute. most people. I hate you never watched WWF growing up? No, I didn't. Oh, man. Tell me, what do you think of that, brother? Anyway, it's tasty, so go ahead and make yeah, that. I'll leave a link in the That's description nice. below. And man, happy January. Hey, thanks for having me, Nikki. Off to a great start. I hope this really takes flight. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> pun, no puns in the new year, remember? <laughs> no puns in the new year. Mm-hmm. That's good though, right? That is hella good, man. So yeah. booby today. I enjoyed this. Thank you. They're kind of tan too. So no, they look really good. They look good. Just a casual conversation about breasts, what? You have what? a problem? Oh, what? There's you're, a problem? You're, uh, oh, there's a problem? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you late for your feminism studies class, bro? <laughs> That's what's up, bro. <laughs> okay, bye. Subscribe uh. so you don't miss any of this, and I'll see you next time. My mosquito bites match my dress. Oh, yeah. Is that cool? People like that? Oh, you got the one in the back. All ankles. You think people look at me and go, wow, look at that girl. She knows how to accessorize.